something strange is going on guys in Ethiopia at the Erta Ale volcano. All of a sudden there was this massive explosion with black black smoke and ash that it has spewed up in the air and that's not what this volcano normally does but it was quite active quite active recently. So Erta Ale is in Ethiopia's Danakil depression. And we have to look at why this happened. What is changing at that volcano? It's one of the world's few volcanoes that has a long-lived lava lake. Like it has basically two craters that have these bubbling lava lakes. And sometimes they really produce when they overflow mind-blowing lava flows. It's a basaltic shield volcano. It's about 613 meters tall with a summit caldera that is housing two pit craters. They're often called the North and the South craters. And these craters frequently contain active lava lakes, but not explosions like this. Because these persistent lava lakes of the volcano, basically the lava has been observed nearly continuously in the craters since at least 1967, possibly as far back as 1906. And of course, we have the occasional overflow. This is no reason for concern. When the lake level rises, the lava can spill over the caldera rim like it did in January 2025, this year, when the lava has reached nearby camping huts for the first time in 20 years, because tourists like to go to that area and have a look at these stunning lava lakes. There's effusive eruptions from rift fractures like broad lava flow events from flank fissures that have been notably seen between 2017 and 2020. And they have covered up to 30 square kilometers. You see this on the um, satellite images. So it has an active mixed eruptive behavior. But on July 15th this year, a sudden explosive event has produced this dense ash plume. And what might have caused this? Well, it could be likely due to a collapse of crust over the lava lake or a new vent could have formed. So this event, what we definitely can say, has ended this quiet, only a lava lake phase. The southern crater of Erta Ale has shown nearly continuous thermal anomalies since late 2021 and then through 2022-2024, while the northern crater's activity is intermittent somewhat, but also still present. They also call these lakes gateway to hell because it's a unique natural phenomenon that is observed only by very few people. And it's a tectonic hotspot, of course. It's located at the Afar Triple Junction, where the African, the Arabian, and the Somali plates diverge. And this extension forms new oce oceanic crust and fuels magma rise. So there's several volcanoes. I've reported a lot about the Fentale and Dauphin volcano in Ethiopia. Also, this has a, a huge scientific value because these long duration lava lakes offer insights into magma convection, into the heat flux of magma and into the rift zone process that is taking place there. This eruption came sudden. There was no warning. Nobody expected it. It was really, if you, you see that in the video, a really dense ash plume. First they thought, is there a fire burning or something? No, it wasn't, it was the volcano. It was very short-lived, didn't last long, but it has broken this pattern of, this long-standing pattern of many, many months of like this quiet lava activity. A field volcanologist, Luca Lupi, he's the author of a geological guide to this region. 
he has given an explanation while watching this video what could have happened. Um, the video, interestingly enough, um, was filmed by Idris Hamed. That's a local observer who has filmed this dark column of ash that was rising from the summit crater. Seems to be a local guide or something. So the field volcanologist has given a technical explanation. He said the event is likely resulted from a collapse of the solidified crust that is covering the summit lava lake. And this could have been triggered either by the opening of a lateral vent or the formation of a subsurface dike. And he explains, quote, the drop in pressure from the collapsed lava column has drawn new magma from below, which by releasing gas has suspended all the fragmented solid material, has then generated those large columns of dark ash. And this behavior aligns with previous transitions between like effusive and ash producing phases at Erta Ale, where structural changes in the volcano's vent system often lead to sudden degassing and that leads to surface disruption. So the Erta Ali's ongoing eruption involves right now both effusive and ash emitting faces. And it's very well seen on the satellite pictures how big that lava carpet is. So this basaltic shield volcano is quite wide. It's 31 miles, that's 50 kilometers wide and uh, it's more than 600 meters, that's 1,970 feet um, from sea level. The summit caldera measures roughly 1.4 times one mile. And southeast of the summit, there's a larger fault-bound depression. And we did see an intensification of the surface activity at that volcano starting basically in early 2025. So this current eruption is basically following this intensification because just January this year, the lava has reached the campsite, which it never did before or for the first time in two decades. And then an ongoing lava effusion followed with elevated activity in April and May. Now we have July and this happened. Explosive ex activity is rare at this volcano. Previous confirmed eruptions were 1906, 1940, 1960 and 1967. And from there, all were categorized as basically low intensity eruption. With a volcanic explosivity index, it's called VEI of zero. So this is unusual. I will keep you updated about this, guys. I hope you're interested in that. Leave me a comment. But guys, check out the videos in the end screen. It's rumbling everywhere. It's crazy, crazy in Japan, crazy in El Salvador, phreatic eruption. Army personnel was running for their lives at a hot spring. And you see the sign that says, relax. And then there comes this blast with like Yellowstone style. And you see the black rocks flying and then you see the people running crazy. I'll put it in the end screen. If you want to support the channel, guys, please do so. It's greatly appreciated. Check the links in the description. You can buy me a coffee to keep the engine running here on my buy me a coffee site. Leave me a message. I will answer every message with a 30 second video message. You can video me back. We can chat. Thanks for the supers. Click the join button if you want to become a supporting channel member for behind the scene videos. You have exclusive access to these videos. So thanks for supporting this channel, for watching, for being here. I see you in a second. If you click the end screen, then we don't have to say goodbye. <laughs> see you.